Zeke, you're, you're obviously from here. Um, you watched this team growing up. Uh, I think I asked you this earlier, but I just want to get you here one-on-one. -on -one. A, a lot of guys come here, newcomers, and struggle, and you've seemed to just blend right in. What is it about your game and your personality and all those things that allow you to, to come in and have the impact you've had early on? Yeah, I mean, I think I just honestly have a, a good feel for the game. Um, you know, I trust myself. My the coaches trust me. My teammates trust me to go out there and make plays and just play my game. Uh, I mean, they recruited me here for a reason. So, like I've said in the past, I mean, my only job is to go out there and take advantage. And I know it's early in the season, but you guys, again, were number one team in college basketball. When you guys are on and everything's clicking, and I know you just got Shaquille back, what makes you guys so difficult in terms of, like, being an out? Um, I mean, I think we just have, you know, so many talented players on this team. Um, it's just you can't really focus on one guy on a scouting report. Like, I mean, obviously Hunter's an All-American. Um, he's going to get his points regardless. So... Uh, whenever you know, whenever someone's going to have an off night, we expect somebody else to step up and and shoot the ball well, or you know, play good on both ends of the floor. And it's not just offensively; it's defensively as well. As well, um, we obviously understand we have some things that we have to clean up on the defensive end. But I mean, it's just it's going to take time for us to get our chemistry there. Um, but I mean, every every team is going to struggle early on, so we we expect it to get there um, eventually. Some people may be a, a little surprised at your assists and rebounds number. Uh, just adding. Uh, a lot of elements to your game. Can you can you talk about that and, and where that came from and uh, uh, how you became so good at doing that facet of your game? Yeah, I mean, as far as rebounding, um, I was actually taught at a pretty early age by uh, Chris Davis, who's one of my old coaches, coach at Lawrence High as well. So um, he kind of taught me how to read the ball um, on long shots, uh, where, where where it's going to come off of the rim. Um, so he kind of taught me how to be a ball hawk a little bit on the rebounding side of things, but. Um, as far as assists, I mean, when you play with guys like Hunter and Ryland and, you know, guys who can score the ball, um, your, your numbers are only going to – they're only going to show on a stat sheet. So, I mean, just, just the talent surrounded by me. And, I mean, I, I expect those guys to knock down shots, and, and they've been doing that recently. So, Zeke, you hit on it there. But defensively for you guys, when you've got new players like yourself, Ryland, AJ, what's that process like of getting comfortable with the scheme that Coach Self wants for you guys around Hunter to make sure that everyone's kind of putting themselves in a, in a good position? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, it's it's kind of it varies on how certain guys, you know, um, take information. Um, obviously, you know, some guys are better at hearing things. Some guys are better at seeing things. Um, I think for us, it's just about being on the floor at the same time and being able to play with each other. Um, and Coach Self has done a great job of you know mixing in rotations um, for us to get that chance. So. Like I said, it's going to take some time, but obviously, I mean, early on, I think we've looked pretty solid um, with with the rotations that we've had out there. So I expect nothing less than you know just to go out there and hoop, and and the result at the end of the day is going to show. And just for you personally, then, how has the acclimation process gone, and where do you feel like you've kind of fit in so far there? Um, I think my job is, I mean, obviously, Coach Self has preached to me he wants me to score the basketball. Um, but I also understand I'm a playmaker as well. Um, I feel comfortable out there with you know guys like Juan and AJ and Hunt and then KJ, of course. Um, so I trust my teammates to go out there and make plays for themselves. I trust myself to go out there and make plays for others. Um, so I, I mean, I'm just going to go out there and, and do my part, um, whether it's scoring. You know, I, I mean, I've shown on a stat sheet. Like, you know, I had 10, 10 rebounds and seven assists the other night um, against Michigan State. So I feel like I can do it all, honestly. What do you need to do better? What are you, it's early still, but yeah. what, there's got to be something that you're kind of thinking, I, I need to fine tune this before we really get into it. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a shooting slump right now. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop shooting. No shooter is going to put his head down and, and stop shooting. But um, I think right now I think I need to focus on shooting the ball and, and taking good shots. Um, I think that's the main thing for me. Um, I mean, none of my shots have really been questionable except maybe a few. So, um, I mean, right now it's just probably shooting for me. But I mean, other than that, I feel like I've been doing you know pretty solid on both ends of the floor. And then when you were thinking about coming here, did you look at the schedule? I mean, you know what KU plays every year, but did you think about like, you know, you mentioned Carolina's why you came for to Kansas to play in games like that, but then it was Michigan State, and now a couple low profile, and Duke's coming up, and after that, Creighton's coming up, Mizzou, NC State, and then the Big Twelve. I mean, did you give much thought to the schedule and and just what that's going to mean for you and 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 be a part of that? Um, obviously, didn't really think about much of the non-conference. Um, knew that you know, obviously, there was a Big Twelve, Big East battle, um, and then the Missouri, the Missouri game. Um, but I mean, I've really focused on you know the Big 12 schedule and the powerhouses that are in the conference, like Houston, Baylor, a bunch of teams. I think we have like four in the top 10 or whatever. But um, 
No, I didn't really look much at the schedule. I don't look too far ahead. I try to focus, you know, one game at a time and whoever is the opponent, you know, that's who we're going to go out there and match up with. What's it felt like, sorry, to be in those types of games, knowing more are coming? Yeah, um, I mean, it's been nothing but fun. I mean, I, I like I said, I expected to come here and play in games like that. Um, obviously, just to have this opportunity to be out there and compete against, you know, some of the best in the country, it's, it's an honor, it's a blessing. So I'm really looking forward to more of those games. Coach Self obviously really wanted you here. The staff did. So you saw that side of him during your recruitment. Has he got during practice or game? Has he gotten mad? Have you seen that side of him? And um, what's that like going from here to there? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, he's probably mad at least once or twice every practice. But um, <clears throat> I mean, it's it's coaching. So uh, and he's a Hall of Fame coach. So it's not more about you know the the way he's talking to you. It's about the message that he's sending. Um, I think our guys understand that. We accept, you know, the challenge that he brings to us every day. We go out there and compete for him. And, and what's the key, sorry, to not, to not taking it personal, to not letting it affect your game or where you're at or whatever? Yeah, just understanding that he wants he wants the best for us. Uh, we all know that. Um, we take, you know, the, the tone of voice with a little little pen, salt of grain or whatever. Um, I mean, he's gonna he's gonna get on he's gonna get on us all the time. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's all love. He wants the best for us, and he want, he wants to see us make it to the next level.